Let's break open the champagne and have ourselves a drink because gosh darn diggity. Matt Pat just shot himself in the foot and it was one of the funniest things I saw in a long time. So if you're a long standing citizen of the Lord Nuxanor nation, you know that Matt Pat and I have a very interesting relationship where he's some random YouTube guy that probably never heard of me. And if he did, probably wouldn't say he heard of me. And I have gotten my stalker game cranked up to an 11 because there's a lot of information I actually have on this dude and I already mentioned in the past that I'm working on this like documentary series on MatPat. Some of it to his credit and some of it well not as much to his credit. <laughs> so definitely subscribe if you're interested in that. But being that I've mentioned that I've been working on this behind the scenes in the past, whenever he does something, a lot of people just start memeing about it in my community and in my subreddit and everything. So I felt like, hey, I should definitely address his new disaster because one thing I have to tell you about Matt Pat this man knows YouTube inside out I predicted he'd make that COPPA video two days before he made it and I predicted he'd make this Heineken flu video <laughs> for lack of a better terminology within the week that he made it as well what I was wrong about is that I thought it was gonna be another PR sit on the couch video telling everyone to stay home being YouTube's best good guy that looks out for gamers and man for the PR man mastermind and business leader Matthew Patrick to have made such a social oof. I have to say I think he feels like he knows he's gonna get crap for it but at the same time he feels like the benefit of getting that amount of views on the video is actually worthwhile. So while I am still not convinced in fact I feel it's pretty likely that he's still gonna manage to milk this fur a sit on the couch PR video I'm definitely gonna meme on this one. Now I respect it. I respect the hustle and I respect Matt Pat as an individual that made this video, but oh my gosh, this is the funniest thing I've seen in such a long time. When he uploaded his video, who will survive the censored virus? I was like, all right, so this is probably not going to be a super informative video because he's censoring the word in the title. If it was actually a PR move, that wouldn't happen. Also, the thumbnail does not have him sitting on the couch. And then it's a glorious 17 minute video where the first three minutes are talking about how the video won't be monetized, which is very suspicious when you actually see that the video has ads but you know we won't talk about that and then i was like where is he gonna go with this i mean i'm sure some video game characters are immune to poisons or whatever like samus has her really epic varia suit that can stop her from getting injured in molten lava so maybe that would prevent the virus from attacking her but no i was completely wrong he didn't tackle each video game character as a separate entity he just went along the lines of as we know masks that we wear on our faces can block air particles from entering. And as we know, people that have facial hair makes crevices for the particles to get in around the mask. So therefore, if you have facial hair, you're more likely to catch the virus. And then the rest of his video, he's basically going through video game characters. Okay, this character has a moustache, likely to catch the virus. Link, face smooth as a baby's bottom, will probably be safe from the virus if he wears a mask. Donkey Kong, face is full of hair, will probably die because of the virus. Princess Peach does not have a beard and therefore will probably survive the virus. I kid you not, this is a 17 minute video. I mean, oh my god. This man is a genius. Mad respect to get a topic like this to that length. I had no idea where he was gonna go. I know that he is a PR specialist, and therefore there's no way he would actually make edgy racist jokes. Like, well, as we know, and this is actually very, very sad. At the time of recording this video, the most deaths seen from this Heineken flu were in Italy. And Mario is Italian! Mm! I had no idea where he was gonna go with it. And honestly, I would have gone the edgy joke route. It's not cool, but I wouldn't have made a video like this altogether. So I like to think that that gives me the moral of the superior high ground. At least that joke is somewhat funny, even though it's completely somber and disrespectful of the situation going on. And I was even more certain that's the way it was going because in the beginning of his video, when he's talking about how he can't make money off the video, YouTube so gosh darn difficult to make money on these days. Can't make money on 2020. Can't make money on this. Can't make money on that. That green icon. And then he ends his segment saying, Oy vey! An obvious Jewish line. I assumed it was because, you know, Jews like money. That was the joke that he was going for. How was that? Am I good? 
Oy vey, YouTubing in 2020 is hard. Oy vey, oy vey. Oy vey. And I was like, wow, didn't expect edgy jokes to come from MatPat. Maybe he is gonna go that whole, Mario is Italian. This disease is really wrecking Italy right now. But alas, at least we got that JoJo meme. You may have outsmarted me, but I've outsmarted your outsmarting. And I low-key feel like it's more, you may think I'm stupid, but I've outstupided your stupid. In all honesty though, I feel like this is an amazing episode of the MadPat Chronicles that will never ever be forgotten. Now, I wanna be really clear because I feel like you could take me the wrong way. I do not think any less of MadPat as a person for making this video. I do on the other hand think it was a terrible move unless the only goal was to make some bucks on it, which probably was the goal. And it's again, also a noble goal that I could respect, but then if that's really the case, then why spend the first three minutes of the video talking about how you're not gonna make any money off it? doesn't add up. Unless complaining that you weren't making money is the PR move because you expected to get it monetized since you censored yourself saying the Heineken flu every single time and complaining about the lack of revenue generates sympathy. Now nah, I'm going too far. There's no way. MatPat is such an evil mastermind. Or is he? Definitely subscribe for the MadPad documentary thingo. That will blow your mind! And also leave a like on this video so YouTube doesn't kill it because it's been killing all these other videos. Like, if you look at a lot of channels on basic media entertainment, like anime, for example, or games, the views have dropped drastically. For whatever reason, YouTube has been cucking us, and it's really, really sad. You could see the views dropping on everyone. Anime Uproar's latest video only got 20,000 views in the first day that he uploaded it. That is not normal for a channel that consistently gets over 100,000 views in the first 24 hours and usually more. And I can bring you a million more examples. Like look at Sea Dog's latest videos. I love Connor and I love Connor's videos. And just like a week ago, he was getting constantly 400, 500K per video. And now they dropped to like 100K per video. Something really fishy is going on with YouTube and it doesn't help that they announced this lovely statement on Twitter due to this tragedy. I'm Unfortunately, so many people that work here will have to work from home. And as we know, it's impossible to have an internet job at home. So reviewing videos for monetization will mostly be done by bots now. And so therefore, even videos that do not violate our guidelines will get removed. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's what they said. We all got a message in our YouTube studio. We apologize for the inconvenience. We might be like deleting half your videos because, oh, it's impossible to review videos from home. For whatever reason, I feel like YouTube is taking the initiative right now to make some major changes with their algorithm. And they're blaming it on the fact that, oh, their workers have to stay home. Right now is a time where everyone should be staying home as much as possible. This is the time period where YouTube should be getting way more interaction and views than when everyone has their normal busy lives. But for some reason, right now we're getting absolutely cucked. I think YouTube's taking advantage of the situation to try and make some algorithm changes and tests to see what sticks and we're all being royally effed over because of it. All that said and done, complaining and memeing aside, bruh, the world has become a bruh moment. And you know, I'm serious because they said the world not so do Because if I would have said so do then you know, I wouldn't have been serious, but in fact, I said the world. Yeah, that meme's still alive. But the bruh moment that we're currently inhabiting is something that needs to be taken seriously. I don't think it's something that there should be mass hysteria because honestly, that could make things worse. But to just say, oh, whatever, if you look at the statistics, it's such a small percent. That's just straight up being negligent. It's something that absolutely needs to be taken seriously. Take the sanitary precautions required, stay home, stay safe, watch some schmentai, and just because because it is a serious situation, something else that's extremely important that must be known. Fam, memes are still allowed. Just because it's something serious. Does that mean that we should all be in panic mode with no smiles? That's ridiculous. Anything that can be memed that does not hurt anyone individually should be memed. And even though there will be examples on how this is actually not true, I will stand by it. I am all for Heineken flu memes. A lot of them are hilarious. And if you want to take the meme route, I have nothing against you whatsoever. The game theory didn't take the meme route. They just made a really bad video. That's an important line that I'm trying to draw. 
I'm personally much too self-aware, sometimes for my own good, and PR moves aside, I kind of say what I want to say because it's more fun, and that's the driving force for me making YouTube videos, even though right now YouTube is pretty much demonetizing everything. But for the PR god, MatPat, and I respect this man for these skills because of the stupid amount of stalkerish research that I've done. It blows my mind that he made that video, and the hypocrisy of saying that he's not going to make money for the first three minutes, and then he makes a video that has no PR benefits and is just solely for the purpose of hopping on a trend. Pretty ironic. That all said and done, I got way too many people asking me to comment on the entirety of the YouTube space for this situation for me to avoid it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see an actual video that feels like it actually comes from the heart about this whole situation, you should watch Markiplier's because he doesn't hop on every trend and make a PR move out of it. He only does it when he feels like he can help someone. If I remember, I'll link that in the description. Please leave a like on this video because unfortunately, YouTube does not seem to like its creators these days and all likes and interaction help with the algorithm. Feel free to let me know future videos you're interested in me making in the comments and other things you want me to talk about as well as honestly everything. I will not lie and pretend that I read every single comment, but I do read hundreds of them on, on each of my videos. Feel free to share this video with a friend if they want this slightly cynical take on uh, certain theorists. I very much appreciate all of you that stuck around to this point. Link in the description to my Twitter. Feel free to follow me there for other type of updates. I was planning on uploading 20 videos over the next 30 days, and I mentioned that on Twitter. But unfortunately, with YouTube just cucking videos right now, I don't have the motivation to pull 14-hour work days, okay? I believe that's pretty understandable. So I'll be taking a hiatus on that 30 days of 20 videos, and hopefully we'll get back to that when this all blows over. Stay home, stay safe. If you want to check out my Patreon in the description, that would also be extremely appreciated. While it's important to worry and take precautions, it's also just as important to meme and try and keep your spirits high during this situation that has befallen Zawad! No, I'm actually serious. Terrible JoJo meme that time. But remember to stay weird, fam.